Yeah, Batch out Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today I've got a really cool Unimog for you. It's a really cool piece. If you've watched the channel since the beginning, I actually did a video at this place probably three or four years ago. I've got some help with me today. It's a guy that you've seen in some previous videos, so I'll introduce him in a second. But this is a case MB4-94. I think it's on a Mercedes chassis, uh, so I don't know about that yet. Let's take a look at the inside and see what the inside looks like. Maybe not. Alright, so we'll, we got, we'll figure out how to open the door. Let me see if I can open it from the inside. Alright, there's a bunch of spiders and stuff in here. I bet there's some water in there. There we go. Uh. Alright, let's... Oh, it's got a key in it. It's gonna start, It's gonna crank. Shoot, this thing's gonna fire right up. What's it talking about? Let's take a look at uh, the power plant. So it does have a key. Did I just see something? No, I guess not. I thought I might have seen something move on the dash, but I don't guess I did. Alright. Let's see here. Uh, I'm assuming that's the starter button there. Some type of flashers. This is some type of vent, I would assume. Clutch, brake. I don't know what's that blue handle there. I'm not sure. It's got a hole in the exhaust. Got a... <laughs> Ugh. Look at all the hydraulics. I'm sure that's to work the bed. I wonder if there's any front attachments on it that this is a part of. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Wow, this seat's 5,000 degrees. Whew, that's hot. Hold on a second, y'all. Let me see. Now, when my buddy sent me a picture of this and said, hey, we can go film this, he sent me a picture of a piece of equipment that's in the middle of a field, didn't need grass cut. So I wore shorts and we get out on this thing. Division of Streets, uh, Cleveland? City of Cleveland, wow. Cleveland, Tennessee. Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Medina, Canton. Oh, so that's Ohio. Huh. Wow, what about that? Fuel tank over here. What kind of engine is this? Oh, it's a Benz. It's a Mercedes motor. Huh. 1975 is the date of manufacturing. So this is a 75 model. Got coil springs on the front. Wow, this, plant, this thing's cool. Let me just run and make sure we got some fuel. tell you what oh I think making fuel I wish I had some help over here but he's up here yet ratchet jaw on you <laughs> wait till y'all let's see here oh yeah it's got it's got plenty of fuel in it yeah that thing has been sitting 15 years <laughs> plenty of fuel smells good let me uh, introduce y'all to the star of the show over here. I'll grab the other battery. Um, I get it. Mr. Dan said that it's been at least five or six years. When they did crank it, one of the brakes was locked up, but they ran it and lifted the bed. But he said it'll run, it'll crank, if we can just get it to spin over. Um, I asked him if it was air, hydraulic brakes. He said he couldn't remember. But if it's air, we can cage that one that's locked. Yeah, I didn't, see, I didn't see any air pulls into the air tank right there isn't it yeah but is that for the brakes or is that for something else if it has an air compressor and an air tank it should or, or to have air brakes yeah. yeah i mean that would be a bad it's a 1975 model. model it's sweet it's a sweetheart it's, it's a, a mercedes cowboy. motor so all right cool um, I, i'll go get that other battery grab the other battery and i'll come with you i'm gonna grab the jumper cables off from my truck and right. we'll uh, hook them up together all right are you gonna help Corey? you just gonna stand around <laughs> One good thing about this, we noticed there's keys in it and stuff. So I checked the fuel, it's got fuel in it. I'll check the oil and the water and all that good stuff. He says stuff. he couldn't remember how they actually ran the starter. They might have had to jump a wire. Or... Oh yeah. You got a screwdriver? Yeah, I got all that stuff. All 
I'm the battery toter in this thing. We need to call Mr. Wiley, don't we? Huh? We need to call Mr. Wiley. <laughs> Wiley knew I was toting two batteries today, so he decided not to show up. Right. It's all the dipstick on this side, Drew. I'll check it out. All right. If you haven't seen the video of me and Drew cranking up an old excavator, I'll put the link up here in the corner. Right, let's check the oil on this thing. I like how they got the. I'm current on my tetanus shot, so we should be okay. I was wondering about mine the other day. It's been quite some time. Golly. Uh, you got that adjustable wrench on you, that crescent wrench on you? Yes, sir. What size? 12, 24, 8. <laughs> I keep the thing on me. That's right. That's right. Let me see. I just need to get loosened up here a little bit without slicing my fingers off. Wow, that's tight. Tight, tight. Um, what you need? Probably need a pair of pliers. All right. What variety? No, just some, just some slip joints or something, but that's all right, I'll go get them. Look at that crescent wrench, huh? I think that's a crescent too, isn't it? It is. What you doing over there? Getting the batteries hooked up? Looking at them. I'm going to need some stuff too. Yeah. I was looking at this, um, the data plate on the side of this. It was built in 75, May of 75. So it is uh, almost 50 years old. Mm. 48 years old, this motor. See, I was born in 99, so that means yeah, I'm a lot younger than you are. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm older than this truck. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hmm. Tires look good on it, though. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Lord. Let me get some slip joint pliers here on this thing. Big rat's nest here. It's got something. Okay. Some type of... That looks like a slave cylinder or a master cylinder of some sort. That probably goes into the clutch or hydraulic lines of something. Yeah, that's free. That's frozen. That's free. Couple free ones, couple frozen ones. Let's see. Let me get the bird's nest out of here. Bird nest, Hamiltonville Farm Bird Relocation, Bird Nest Relocation Services. We care about the environment. All right, Uncle Hank, uh, no slip joint, but I got channel locks. That'll probably work. I got wire cutting pliers and a general grab all pliers. Yeah. All right, let me grab, I'm going to channel lock. Some PB blaster as well. You sponsored by them yet? Shoot. We're partnered with a lot of good companies. So that means nice. Yeah, we're working with them. We yeah. are indeed. If you uh, talk with Mr. PB himself, I can use a quarter to you. <laughs> That's right. I bought it. I bought it by the gallon before, but I just lose it then. Hey, baby, don't put that on there. It might zap you. I'm seriously can't get this dipstick out. You sure it's a dipstick, hey? Well, I mean, I guess. I'm talking about it. it don't want to come out. Yeah, okay. Dan, Dan said, uh, that he said, this would be a good one. When well, I said, you yeah, know, he, he does the little start and stuff. He said, that might be a good one. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not having any luck trying to check the daggum oil on this thing. Well, my Papa Jack always used to say, check oil, the gas will check itself. <laughs> let me check here, let me see what that, that might be transmission. Let's see. Oh, that, here you go. Let's check this. Oh, yeah, this thing's made for oil. 
I was trying to check the transmission fluid. How's it look? That's great. White? Yeah, clean. How's it, how's it feel? How's it smell? Shoot, it smells like a million bucks. Oh, Lord have mercy. How you know what that smells like? <laughs> Let me see what that is. Oh, yeah, that thing's making oil. It's clean. Let's see. Don't smell burnt. The, uh, Shoot, that thing ain't got 3,000 miles. Look at that. Here you go. That's Shell Rotella T4. That's T4 right there. Yep. The best, uh. You know, I'll, I used to be uh, of the school of thought of Delo 400, but, uh. Yeah, we use a lot of that. I, I, growing up, that's what I always saw everywhere. It was 55 gallon drums under every bar on a Delo 400. But since then, I've been taught that, uh, it's an inferior oil. I don't know. They're about the same price, so I usually buy Shell or Tell T4. I guess it all depends on who. Yeah, I think so. A lot of it does, I believe. I see two levers up here that were working. A couple of other ones were frozen up. Yeah, he said that's the where they spent most of their time was getting those levers freed up. So it's gonna have it's got a dump bed, so it's gonna have a PTO. Yeah. So that will be the lever to find is which one operates the PTO. Watch your butt, buddy. Live with 12 volts there. Come around to the. You want to get over here? You're climbing over here? <clears throat> yeah, see me turn the switch right there. Just see if that light comes on. You know, are we out of gear? Uh. What is in here? Yeah. Ain't light. I heard some like noise. It might have been that one. I heard. Listen for it. No, there's gonna be a button somewhere. I, I, put, I think you have to push it in and then. Oh yeah, there's uh, something going on. Yeah, there's something going on. Yeah, we'll put some more fire to it and uh, get everything ready. If it's forward, neutral, reverse, then that's neutral. My theory is just to uh, get everything and everybody out of the way. <laughs> and if it rolls. <laughs> and uh, hard on the skinny pedal and then just let off on the other end. Yeah, there you go. I've, I've never worked on a Mercedes. You never owned a Mercedes then? Uh, I have an SLK 320. Well, I mean, you know, but that ain't. <laughs> it was basically an engine and two seats is what that thing was. Yeah. A little compressor, SLK compressor. Yeah, it's right here beside the I've Belarus. I've never seen this uh, a 505 Belarus. Belarus? 505, I've never seen that one. That's, an, that's a nice size machine though. I have a uh, 250 oh AS. God. You have a Belarus? Oh, or, yeah. What do you call them, Belarus? Belarus. Belarus, that's right. Yeah. Hey, t hit that starter one more time. Let me see if, it's, if these belts turn. I don't think it's turning. I don't think it's hot enough to turn anything yet, but it's, it's, it's bumping. Yeah, I just want to see the front of the motor. All right. Tell me, you ready? Yeah. Oh. No, nothing, nothing at all is turning. The starter is doing something, but then again, I'm not too confident with my wire yet. <laughs> yeah, I need I mean, another wire. I need some more wire. Uh, this tank is empty, whatever it is. Unimog 405. Hey, sure foot, you want to back up a little bit? Daddy's doing business. Nani. That's not. Nani's not here. <laughs> Boy, she's gonna be a master mechanic by the time she's ten. Well, I don't know who's gonna teach her. You Ow. keep hanging out with Daddy. You'll be a master mechanic by the time you're ten. Well, she'll what do you like, think? Well, Daddy's gonna have to be a master mechanic, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be one. So this front, they probably had like a snow plow. If it came from Cleveland. It probably was probably a snow plow truck what in the winter time, and then probably did agriculture in the summer or something. Yeah, it's probably salt spreader. I mean, it's because it is a dump bed. Yeah, that'd be my guess. Here's some. That also explain a lot of the the weight weight. Uh, what do you call it? Weight reduction. It has some spools up here in the front. Two sets it's of spools. Plow, probably. Yeah, for the snow plow, probably. You got any channel locks handy, honey? Uh, did I put them back in that driver's seat. What's in here, driver? Daddy. Do you have them, Cora? Interesting. Bunch of relays there. Yeah. Yeah. I 
canister air air cleaner. Yeah, um, thirty five Ferguson's have those oil oil bay. Air yeah, filters. those oil bass are pretty neat stuff. Where is that? Day? Oh, there. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, I'm sure. Ma. I'm sure being a salt spreader didn't help its case with no. all this rust. Nice panel hitch on the back. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Or if that's for sale, I need another one. I know. You could always use one of them. Well, my, my um, big, big truck doesn't have a hitch, or nor that Mac. Let's get this out of the way. Mama. Yes, ma'am. Well, here, I'll put that in there. Uh -uh. Hey, what you taking that? And that other wire hanging loose there grounds right to the chassis. This one? Mm -hmm. The one that's got uh, this one? Yeah, that one. Alright. What wrench was you using? I was using this one. What one size fits all. Alright. Tires look good. Radials? I, I said the same thing. I said tires look good and the other one's off the beat over there. Ah, uh, you know, it take care. I laughed when I said it. Division of streets. Hey, what's your street name? Huh? What's your street name? My street name's Little Tango. Oh, okay. your street name? Ah. <laughs> no, I don't have a street name. I see what you're saying. No, no. Took me, took me a second. You still working with the batteries there? What's that? Yeah. What's that? No. Ant season two. Oh, I don't even notice it anymore. What's that over there? We got some kind of linkage under here that's not connected to the transmission. That's awesome. Probably not important. No. What's that? If it was important, they wouldn't have connected it. I wonder how they came across this. I was asking a, a Pat up there about the excavator. Were you there for that? A little bit, yeah. Pat said uh, he right. just sold it to Tim. Shh. He said that right drive was loose. Yeah, it's a chain drive. Shh. Hey, hush up. Um, you're dating yourself with chain drives. I'm telling you, it's, it's a late, probably a mid to late 70s machine. Let me go find, see if I can find that cleaner before you put that on there. Uh, yeah, that probably helped. Do you remember where I said it at? I showed it to you. Uh, back of the truck, maybe driver's side. Here you go. I'll grab it. Oh, I'm going to have to get it. You know, when you're not working out of your truck, it makes things go a little, a little longer. When you're working out of such an organized truck as <laughs> Drew's. <laughs> oh. not, a, not a show truck in the in the literal sense. That's right. No, uh, last night. You want to get in the shade or do you want me to hold it? Cause I ain't, yeah, we can't do both. Here. Bless her heart. Go ahead and drench yourself with it. That'd be all right. All right. Yeah, that thing's the best thing since sliced bread right there now. Yeah, buddy. That looks upside down, Hank. No, it ain't. Hey! Uh, hey! Hey! Yeah. I see. Good job. Did you loosen this at all? Um, it spun around. <laughs> that wouldn't be fun, would it? I mean, there would be things that would be worse, but <laughs> you could lose your whole dang leg, wouldn't it be terrible? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that uh, didn't loosen for me. I, uh, I spun it. Yeah. What? What? Man, you and you and Wiley, y'all put y'all leave these tools in the sun. Oh man, it was so bad yesterday. I like to like had a stroke now. I was working on a truck that had been sitting in the in the sun all day, 
and uh, I pulled it under the barn to get in the shade, but it had been baking on that truck oh, all day yeah. with the windows up. Yeah. And there was no breeze at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, it fell out. Um, Where are we at? What five we scripts, at? unless you want to try. Let's put that one on the ground, I guess. Yep, that, and that loose wire it needs to go to the ground. Uh, let me get to, let me get something to clamp and, and hold. What did I set? Where did I? Oh, there it is. Man, I ain't leaving the thing. The one specialty tool we got over here. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be all right. Yeah, that right there is night and day to the uh, the old uh, little brush job and the little thing, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Where are you gonna clamp this third wire to? The uh, the ground. I mean, I'm gonna grab you. Uh, Something to pinch with. Okay. Yeah, the salt has eat this thing up, what I'm talking about. Way to go, you northern states. Us Florida boys ain't got nothing. We don't have to worry about salt on stuff. You got some vice grips? That's what I'm getting. You need a couple pair. Yes, sir. I also posted a video of me and Drew loading up two old John Deere bulldozers. It was like a 450 and a 300 or something, but they were like 1950s models, and both of them fit on a on his truck, you know, his gooseneck that he pulled behind his truck. And Corey was there helping us. Uh, you were helping us load them up, wasn't you? You did such a good job. Uh huh. I understand. <laughs> so she's gonna. I'm telling you, by the time she's by the time she's 10, she's gonna have all this stuff figured out for sure you guys ever drove a unimog before let me know i know some of the military guys have probably driven them but some of you civilians have you been in road departments that have unimogs let me know in the comments where you were when you did that yeah, these will give you a little pinch right hold something wrong with somewhere for a little bit i don't know oh you need something to tighten it yeah yeah pinch it on there all right cool you hold that down there Yeah, that ain't, uh, we need vice scripts is what we need. Ooh, it is a scorcher today, fellas, let me tell you. So we're actually making two videos today. We're gonna make this video, and then uh, we filmed the front half of a video this morning where we went and uh, took my skid steer, and he's got a mini excavator, and we're gonna swap for about a week or two. And uh, so we filmed that this morning, filmed this now, and then we still gotta go back to his place, load up the excavator, and it is hot, man, it's hot. There's no breeze. It wouldn't be so bad if there wasn't a breeze, but there's no breeze. If there was a breeze, but there's no breeze. Oh. Yeah, I gotta, you gotta compensate for these uh, clamps that don't tighten, you know what I mean? Mm. Yes, sir. Story of my life. I got you. So did we decide if she's got air brakes or not? No, sir. No? I don't see the chambers for them. They're hydraulic. But how do they work, though? There it's got there. interesting hubs. I mean, it's got planetary gears. You see that, Hank? Uh -uh, I haven't looked up under there. Yeah, the axle is the axle's way above the center of the wheel. Really? Uh-huh. Awesome. That is cool. I won't even waste my time with the little cables. I put these on there. I was just giving uh -huh. those to hold, uh -huh. yeah. hold something to something. Okay. Uh, take the welding end, because that end you can clamp it on. Uh, that's the negative. And you clamp it on the ear of that uh, vice grip. Let's finger. Yeah, I, I kept those on there. In case they ever get in a jam. Sure. And you, you can wire, a, or like on a tractor, have, have 24 volts, you can burn a 6010 rod with it. The, red, the black is hot, right? <laughs> Most of the time. Mm. See what happens over right? We should have pretty good bit of power. Was it the, turn the key, then push the button? Same thing? Yeah. Give a starter tap, man. All right. Can you see it from the front? Of the I top? can. You, well, you can see it from here. All right. What you need? Uh, nothing. Now you gonna give it an air tap? You're in the best spot to mash on the button too. 
You can see where it's been tapped before. Oh, that's always a good sign. Uh oh. What's wrong? Fire? No. Uh, Smoke? Wasp. Oh, hey. I'm, you're a little girl. You're right. Now, <laughs> you're right. Let me go get some wall spray. Corey, hang on here. She's like, I ain't getting out of the shade. Here you go, Hank. As always, I came prepared. <laughs> That'll work. I was getting that for your wall's nest. Let me try a screwdriver. What kind you want? A long handle. Um. Or I can just use this crescent wrench probably. I can use this. I can probably yeah, uh, I know when I hit the starter button a few minutes ago, a few times, it's it was starting to smoke the negative terminal on the battery. So I know power is going somewhere. So I imagine if you tapped and mashed, we can hear something. Nothing. Uh -uh. I'm not getting no smoke down here from the native terminal. It's different. They're tight. That's a good connection. Nothing. You got the key all the way on because I had to turn the key a whole long ways. Yes. Yeah, I, I put, feel like it is. I pushed it in and turned it a That's long right. ways. I mean, that's as far as I can get it to go. And it's not even making that noise no more? Yeah, it is. You want to take a look? Maybe right, I'm going to get you a screwdriver first. Ah, you're going to try. Can you get the, uh, the terminals on the starter, Hank? Maybe. I don't know yet. You don't sound very confident. I'm not. What? I bought a box of 50 amp starter buttons. I mean, there's plenty of uh, parts out here, though. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh... Thank you. I'm just trying. Ooh, that don't sound healthy at all. But uh, hey, it, it moved though. Let's see if you can do it again, huh? I'm trying. I know, I'm just laughing at it. Hey! Yeah, baby. No, nothing. All right, I got another idea. Take this, uh, this right here. Put your flathead screwdriver in there, all the way, hold it up. Now that's 12 volts coming right from the, the goose here. Let's put it right. Yeah, that's still ground. Will you be able to, you ought to reach, be able to reach pretty yeah. well. Ready? Yes, sir. Give me, there we go. You ain't got bigger, you got bigger screwdriver? Oh, uh, I might. Hey. That thing just is a little too small. I mean, I'll go look. Yeah, I'm gonna because you won't know where to look, huh? You be uh, looking in the wrong spot. I'm gonna get some water while I'm at it. <laughs> Let's see if this will work. Let me try this. I'm not too confident in my ground either. No. Nope. Nothing. Yeah, I'm not too confident in my ground. Do what? I'm not too confident in our ground. Yeah. Cause we got them batteries. Are them, are them batteries known to be hot? Yeah, they're charged. Yeah. Trust me. All right, where's the ground? Grab right to the chassis right there. If we work the ground that better. I had a grinder with it, you know, but I don't know what <laughs> Grinders, man. Grinders are for sissies. What? Break out a, break out a sawzall with a metal blade <laughs> oh, and, and scratch it back yeah, and forth. Yeah, just rub it. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. All right, we're coming from this battery here. Let's put both leads onto the battery that's hooked to the, to the machine. And then we'll ground also there to help the batteries ground. If it's inadequate, and then you try gouging your starter again with the uh, yeah. with our probe, power probe. I tell you something funny, Drew. Yesterday was Mother's Day, you know. Yes, sir. Well, my mom, 
My mom said, where are you taking me out to eat? And I looked at her and I said, we got food at the house. <laughs> That's terrible, man. Ain't Nothing that what they told us growing up? I reckon, I don't know. Uh, we got food at the house. There's food at the house. Yeah. That's what I told her. All right, here we go. Try See if something gets hot or sparks or... We're going to try it one more again. Nothing. Sounds like something's working. You hear that? Yeah. I bet if you, I bet if you clean this up... Clean what? The terminals on that starter might... They're really rusty. I wonder if we... You ain't got a wire brush, do you? Yeah, sure I do. Um, you want to take a look? You see what you see what you think. Mm. It may be operator error. Well, I think if you clean the spot on that, oh, it's so easy to get to. Hand me that reset so. Yeah, she's doing fine. She's drinking starter fluid. Okay, as long as it ain't anything. This is your hotline here, Hank. Yeah. Let's give it a little, give it a little taste. I was putting it. Well, I think the big lug is sitting upright. This is going straight to the batteries. Yeah, that's what I was doing. The big lug and the uh, small one directly beside it. Right, okay. Anything look like it's getting hot or anything down there? No, sure don't. Let me go get, oh yeah, never mind. You got a voltmeter? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any, any guesses where it's at? Um, in the front seat. Driver's side? Likely. The motor's down yonder there, that's the thing. Hey, it's not the seat. Yeah, we'll put 24.24 to it, see what it do. Sounds good to me. Yeah, you gotta touch the little metal probes on the ends of the thing. And it'll tell you number. That says 11. What? Hank, you sent us out here to battle with a... 12.6. Can you get on the battery? So? Uh, 11. Mm. Still 11? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little weak. Yeah. Let's put them in, uh, in parallel. Parallels amp series volts. Okay, let's put them in series then. I never can remember. <laughs> it's not important. No, you know, you just got one way, then you got the other way. That's right. <laughs> and this wire right here ain't worth nothing. So what we'll do here is we'll take everything down. That's not long enough to reach enough. Can we turn them? Can we turn it sideways? Battery box ain't really big enough, is it? We'll have to take one See, side my truck off. had that cobbling kit. We could have. Well, all those wi wires with the terminals mm -hmm. already on. I had a bunch of them too. I've got a bunch of them and not with me. Uh, we'll put this one on that battery and then we'll run our wires across the batteries. If we could turn it sideways. Mm -hmm. 
Drew. So I was texting Drew this morning. Drew's got, I got an iPhone. Drew's got a Samsung. Samsung. Yeah. Uh, remind me, I told my buddy Sam, I was like, sing me a song about a iPhone. And then Samsung. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> All right, so that's wired to the ground side. This is wired to the hot side, and then we'll wire across, right? That's right. Here, girl. Come here. What's your nugget? Good job. Now, do you put your things over these, Hank? Or? Like you can if you want, yeah. Well, yeah, mess up the little brass holder. Yeah, in there. here. Are they top post? Oh, they're screwed. We'll screw it down on there. Hank, you remember when your girl, your daughters were this big? Yeah, oh yeah. God, oh man. yeah. Same like yesterday. Man, I hate it so much. Mm -hmm. Um, no, uh, Ben Black called me the other day and asked about ordering some flowers right. for when he's getting married in December. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know, that's, that's pretty much it. Can you sell some flowers? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Does she do like that, she normally and all that? Yeah, no, I don't. She normally don't do weddings. Okay, but... that's what I told him. I said I don't think she does like florist work. No. I think he's just now starting to shop around. Yeah. Anyway. Shop around, shop around, shop up and get down. I came to it up to get down. <laughs> that's pretty snug. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go from there. There. We'll do that with these cheap jumper cables. Maybe we'll get some power across them. Maybe. One of them is broken. That's awesome. Well, we'll just do them like this. <laughs> mm. All right, so something did something there. So now try what you was trying earlier. All right, you hop 24 volts that crescent wrench on the end of that wire. I can't see what I'm doing, but. I guess. Uh. You got a button and uh, try the button with the key. He looks like straight up and down now. I did monkey with the key. I don't know, bro. How many bolts do you have up there at the starter? From the ground out to the chassis to the hot wire on the starter. That wire could be bent, broke, bothered. Yeah, true. Because when you bridge it across from that exciter wire on the solenoid there, it, it should be uh, letting, her, letting her rip. Let her rip, tater chip. That's right. Hey, why are you perspiring yeah, so? It's wet. It's wet like it's wet. Stay hollow. Okay. One and a half volts. Oh, that can't be right. You got to have a bad ground there or something. Yeah. No. Yeah, at 20, it did jump up to 22.4. Yeah, I think we got a ground issue. Where did I? Well, let's get the ground up a little bit and I put that clamp on it on there. Uh oh, you lost your bow. Here, Cora, let's put this back in your nugget. Ready? Been a long time since Uncle Hank did this. Look at there. Oh, how pretty. Pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna double up the ground. Yeah, probably smart. Grounds, man, that'll mess you up, yes, dude. Yes, sir. Um, that, that S250 Bobcat of mine, it completely stopped one day when Bronze was running. I mean, it just stopped doing everything. And uh, I went out there and yeah, it just ground the one. I hit it with the grinder and come right by. Try again? Yeah, see what happens. Sounds better. Yeah, I heard something pop. I see a little smoke coming from. Do we need to move some tractors for y'all? Uh, does this one run? Yeah. Yeah, I'll move it. It has no battery. Oh, but then we won't move that. <laughs> yeah, I, can I can get a battery for it real quick. Well, no, move I, think, it. I think you can maneuver here. But that would be ideal, actually. Yeah, I know. That's why I was wondering. Because I can take the forklift real quick, move that one, and whatnot. Or just one of them. Yeah, well, I mean, that would give you at least room to back up right through here like yeah. this. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind at all. You guys are on the clock. Uh, you gonna move this? Uh, no, uh, I need that uh, that sleeve and that
Yeah, this was hooked up. If he can't, he needs to let me drive. <laughs> oh, 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 watch it. Hey, oh. Sorry, sorry. That's, no, it's all right. These things are about umpteen <laughs> feet long, too. There we go. Which one's close? We ain't got something hooked up, right? All right. Here's the negative terminal, which grounds to the truck. Positive terminals come into this battery, and they're they're hooked across. That's right. I mean, this wire is not too confidence inspiring. Let's move the the truck power to. I think this battery is 11 points. That's it. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're putting fire to that one for sure. I think it's right, Hank. I just think that uh, ain't enough of it or something. Or that starter. It could have gave up the ghost. Yeah, that starter. But now the motor did turn one. It turned a, a grunt. Right, remember when it Yeah. Hurt? Let me try your screwdriver again. Mm -hmm. did, I, did I leave it up here? I don't know. Couldn't say. I'll try this little screwdriver. I wonder if there's another... What you need, buddy? We've got lights on the dash. Or a light. I mean, we got electricity flowing in there. I just, ain't, no, this... ain't no denying that, about that. Ugh. Need a bigger screwdriver. All right. Where it's bound up. Whoa, whoa, great got him. Hey, don't throw nothing up there. What's that, bud? I was saying, don't, don't try nothing now. <sighs> oh, that's free. Yeah, not much, though. <sighs> it's got a lot of compression. I don't know if I'm making a whole stroke or not, but it's moved. Yeah. I mean, I'll get you a longer screwdriver, Hank. Flathead? I'm hot to try. Baby, let's rock. You got the mad bass player skills. Oh, mercy. 
How many people in the comments right now be like, if Wiley was here, y'all done had that thing cranked up? I have to get on Wiley. He should have been here. We're filming together tomorrow. If you haven't checked out Wiley's channel, go check out Don't Be Wiley. And don't go over there and leave a comment. Are you and Hank not working together anymore? Yes, we're working together. We don't, they're cutting me up. We're not, we don't live together. <laughs> I like the guy, but I don't want to live with him. <laughs> well, I'll leave you watching. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, I mean, we still hang out. We still film five, six times a month. All that good stuff. But he's got his own channel. It's like Captain Cleveman and Dirk Perfect. Uh, uh, Andrew Camerata, No Nonsense No How. Some of those guys have, you know, have... All the great TV shows have always had spin-offs, you know. Uh, what's the Carol Burnett and the Mama Show? Remember that one? Anyway, so yeah, he still don't be wild as the channel, and uh, go check him out. There we go. So you just wasn't doing something right, Hank? Huh? And your batteries were dead. Now what? And now I'll wait and let it charge more. Yeah, um, give, give it a minute or two. Yeah, we ain't got no batteries with it either. Huh. Woo. Once it starts spinning, though, and it gets oil moved around, it'll probably spin better. Uh. Every time I do one of these with you, Hank, I always think, you know, I've got way better tools to do this with. I could bring that Lincoln Weld machine and a 300 amp jump box, crank it up. I got all that in my truck. Yeah? You got a 300 or a Lincoln Weld machine? No, but I've got a big old jump box. Oh, you got a battery one. I'm talking about the big old rolly boy that rolls around yeah. with a uh, But uh, then you start burning them cables. Like if you ain't got a good connection, it'll, it'll melt that. I think she found the radio. <laughs> it, she's been playing Amarillo by morning, back to back to back to back. <laughs> At least it's not the George Strait version, it's the Chris Ledoux version. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Probably move it. To do that. Copy. Should I have the heat on in there? Don't let me have the copyright copyright strike on there. <laughs> when you uh when you try the first time there, would you use the button hank or your pry bar? Uh, uh bar. If the button's working, it's working. Yeah. You know? Button ain't working. Mercedes quality and <laughs> 1975 Mercedes. I don't, I don't know if it's going to go. I just don't know if we got enough juice. You know, you gotta be prepared. Hey, huh? we need to get you a big old 12 volt 100 watt solar panel for the batteries you carry. Yeah, uh, like to do your wheel start. You know what I got? That I don't. That I haven't. I made it and I never use it. What's that? I have a charger that plugs in that I made that plugs into your seven point or your, your seven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's great idea. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's that'd be just as well be better as a hundred watt solar panel. Yeah. Um, and with a battery charger, because you pretty much carry these around everywhere, don't you? Yeah, but I've got four or five I swap out with. Mm -hmm. And you trickle charge them at home. That's right. Yeah. Yep. That's a pretty dang good bit of electricity though that's going into those batteries right now. Just this is our weak point. Uh, this this setup here. Do you think we could get rid of one of them? Uh, one of what? The, do you think we should get rid of the broke one? Um, well, I mean, it's it's doing something. Oh, they're both of them. Yeah, I've got them tied, tied together, so it's doing something. Yeah. And twice, it, it's Always up. doing something, got yeah. to be doing something. I don't think that's how the song goes. I don't think I, I know that one, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Michael Jackson, maybe? Got to be doing something. Yeah, I know it, yeah. <laughs> but that's Always. Always. It's definitely I'll a deep start track. some. Always starting something. Got yeah, to be starting something. Yeah, that was definitely Always a deep start. track. Yeah, B side. Yeah, because uh, I mean, you know, that was way before my time, but I know all the, you know, the, the big ones, you know. Shoot. You know, the. Yeah, look at you. Thriller and, <laughs> you know, Beat It, Billie Jean, all the, all the big all ones. The, all the, the classics. Hits. Well, if you had to pick one Michael Jackson song for, for all time, which one would it be? Now, Michael Jackson or Jackson 5? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yep. Um, I know it's going. It's going. It's going. Surprise you. Black or white? No. Okay. Uh, no. 
Which one? Uh, my it it it, it is. It's got a killer bass line. I'll Billie be. Jean. I'll be there. I'll be there to hunt you. I, I mean, think that, Mariah Carey did a remake of it. I think. That's definitely another deep track, right? Yes, dude. With the nine down. That's the Michael Jackson song, though, for you. Yeah, I like the bass line in it. I mean. I guess everybody's entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> Y'all ready? Yeah, send it, buddy. Nope. Man. Why are we not doing right, Drew? Uh, something up there with what you're doing. Because at one time you did a good job at it. Let's see if I can get it good. No, Keep doing good. that till it turned over. That's just welding onto the actual bell, or not bell housing, but the, uh, so the starter goes. There's two big lugs and one little lug. That's right. And if you put power to both them big lugs, one one of those big lugs should have power to it anyway. Well, that's that's the one I'm hitting on because that's the what the cable goes to the. That's so, going to be, it's gonna, it should have 12 or 24 volts. The problem the is, time. here's your problem, lady. <sighs> Let me try from the other side, see if I can get a better mm -hmm. angle on it here. Do you want, do you want, um, something different shape like look maybe, maybe. go around and it's insulated yeah maybe best michael jackson song all time all under that thriller i mean that's pretty common thriller is good well i mean especially for the younger crowd because thriller made that big resurgence in the last 10 years with uh what's the tv show that's real popular uh with young people um not i mean i'm young people but younger people they like the one where they're in choir class and they remake all the songs High school musical. High school musical. I don't know, dude. I was just kidding. I mean, that sounds right. See, the one song though, it was early on in his career, where it was at the beginning. It was like a disco song. It was like, uh, yeah. Da, 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 da. Uh, Brickwork uh, off the wall or out of the wall, off the wall. I don't know. Don't stop, don't stop till you get enough. Don't stop till you get enough. Keep on. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Now that is a That's banger. a good one. Yeah. See, I can I can do this one. That don't do nothing though. That the bottom big lug should be to the motor but see, part the, of the starter. The, it is, but I can't. You're doing something right sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. I'm gonna come topside with you, Hank. Yeah. You like Michael McDonald over here. Keep forgetting. I love that. Man, you, ghost you talk about a uh, bass line. Oh my God. I keep that's forgetting. We're not yeah, in love Yeah, that's a soul brother anymore. right there. Yeah, baby. That's, that is a, that, that's, that's yeah. just a banger for sure. Yeah. I keep it on repeat. You know that guy still, he still got it too. Yeah, see, that's what I was doing. The that's little the cylinder, wood. it's working. But now the goat, ooh, ooh, and my speech is hot. <laughs> but now, if you jump from there to there, it would spin the motor part. Right. Which, if the Bendex is not engaged. Because if the Bendex is in, then it ain't going to, you know, if the Bendex is in the flywheel or whatever, it ain't going to. Um, see, I just couldn't get an angle. Angle on the thing. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Sit here. Let me hold my mouth different. Well, just as, let's use two tools. Every time you use more stuff, though, it uh, makes for a little less connectivity. See, that should it should be uh, yeah spinning the motor. All right. So we think the starter's bad. Hey, baby. On that thing. Does, it, does that sound familiar? Yeah. So, um. Yeah, me and another guy had actually started it, but it's been four, six. Well, that was before the storm. So it's been six years. Yeah. Years, three years ago. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. So, do you remember Do you remember the starter was bad on it or not? No, we started with the starter. Yeah. You know, it's been sitting that long. Time, yeah, yeah. So it may be just dirty and need cleaned up. Or maybe right, right. Good. Okay. So, I've never worked on a Mercedes before. That starter is something else. <laughs> so uh, it's yeah. easy access, right. you know. If you take it off, I might could repair it. Yeah. So now I think we're gonna. I think we're just gonna let that one sit. So we uh, we're retired, or I'm retired, 
and uh, when it gets hot, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> I call, I call Uncle. Take it off. I'll see if I can repair it and try it again if you want to do this. Nah, we, you guys actually make money working. We don't need you to do that, so uh, we don't want to impose like that. So, but I appreciate you letting us come out and. Well, there's a bunch of other <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we may come back. This may be a uh, like a hip pocket type place for us. But uh, anyway, cool. All righty. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's okay. It's it's a video. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right. Appreciate you, buddy. All right. Y'all have a good night. Yeah. I need a. Uh, you know how them bat signals are. You know when they call Batman. I need one of those for Wiley. <laughs> So anyway, so the gentleman was saying starter, you know, probably rusted up, all that jazz. So that's that's always a not a good thing, you know. Those belong to Mr. Masters. Oh, okay. I'll take them back up there. They're hot, hot. Well, Drew, you're fired. <laughs> I'll take it. On a day like today, I'll take it. Yeah, this is a... Man, you can't do nothing when the starter's messed up. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's been sitting a while, and it's un of unknown origin, and... And, you know, in the machine's defense, it's been through three hurricanes. And two world wars. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's uh, They got it after Hurricane Michael, and then two more came after. I don't remember the names of them, but Sally, and what was the last one we had? Right? Right? No, that was before that. Anyway, and, uh... uh so, you know, it's going to, it had a lot of water in it, you know what I mean? Oh, that could be a lot of reason, too. Yeah, so, yeah, there's nothing protecting it across here. But, man, we enjoyed this kind of stuff. Too bad we didn't get it cranked up. What we might do in another video is we might come back, take the starter off, and let them rebuild Because he said that he could sure. rebuild the starter. Oh, yeah. And so we might we might attempt that on a cooler bit. Maybe bring a tent with us. Yeah, or wait till October. Yeah, that's right. So Or, or pick one of these other treasures out here that's yeah. by the shade tree. Yeah, we may, we may come back out to this place. If you're looking for old tractor parts, it's Masters Farm Supply in Alpha, yes, sir. Alpha, Florida, mm -hmm. A-L-T-H-A-A. And they also sell LS tractors. Brand new LS tractors and new parts to their yeah. dealer. So, super, super good family owned mm -hmm. business. I'm talking about salt of the earth type people. Yeah, they so, have my 100 horse tractor and they're split in half right now. Oh, it's is that uh, right? a nightmare. Yeah, yeah awesome. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so uh, you guys, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm going to go find some better help. And uh, I'm going to take Cora with me on the next one. Where she, she, so, she's not fired. <laughs> She even come prepared. That's right. So, anyway, hey, I appreciate you. I was just giving Thank you a hard you time. Yeah, we're glad to be here. So, we appreciate you guys. Take care. God bless.